Bern Lundquist down in the field at RFK Stadium. Halftime, a scoreless game in Soccer Bowl, lady. The Cosmos nothing and the Fort Lauderdale Strikers nothing. We have been privileged for the past two years on ABC to have as a regular part of our halftime presentation Inside Soccer with Pelé. Perhaps the most legendary player still alive to ever have played the sport. It was quite a thrill just about two moments ago to watch as Pelé went from the Cosmos bench and walked around behind the net down here. He got a standing ovation en route to his uh, spot upstairs with Jim McKay because Pelé and Sylvester Stallone are going to be on live with us today instead of on tape as a part of our halftime presentation with the great Pelé. Halftime with Pelé is brought to you by Rolaids for acid indigestion or heartburn, millions spell relief, R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Rolaids spells relief. Now let's go back upstairs to Jim, Pelé, and Sly Stallone. Okay, well, it's an Arantes do Nascimento. It's good to see you. Did I say it right? My pleasure. It's <laughs> very nice to be here with you. This, of course, is the immortal, truly immortal in this sport, Pelé. Pelé, what did you think of the first half? I, I like the way Cosmo play, you know. It's a very hard to play against a team who play all back. You say Fort Lauderdale, sometimes they come 11 player back, and they try, I think, to keep the result uh, tight the first half because it's a little hot. Maybe now in second half they come more forward. Okay, I understand you are now a movie star, Pele. You made a made a picture, right? Yes, yeah, so we made a picture in, in Budapest, uh -huh. and uh, the film uh, should be released very soon. And uh, I have a luck to be between uh, the biggest team in the world and the moves there, in yeah. the scene. <laughs> well, I understand you made a new friend making that picture, Sylvester Stallone. Sly, would you come in for a minute and join us? Sylvester Stallone. How are you? I've been sure you've been made aware that Ray Hudson, the captain of Fort Lauderdale, is known as Rocky. Yes, I met him yesterday, and I thought it was kind of a coincidence. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sure hope they go the distance and all that, but I've, I've learned so much about this game and the way they're playing and the heat and everything, and uh, Fort Lauderdale is playing a very aggressive game, so it's quite interesting to watch, and I was so ignorant about this game up until I met Pelé about uh, 18 weeks ago. Would you tell me that, uh, tell us that story you told oh, me the oh, other day about the oh, first time you oh, met my, him? My manager was saying, once I went, I was playing uh, a charity game against the Philadelphia Phillies, and they said, how many times do you think a pitcher could throw to you and you'd never hit the ball? I said, well, a pitcher like Steve Carlton would throw a thousand balls to you, you wouldn't hit one. Well, I always kept that in the back of my mind. Then when I met Pelé, I said, how many times do you think Pelé could kick a, a penalty shot and get it in? He goes, out of a thousand times, you'd probably get about 2,000 shots in. I said, well, when he came there, I said, okay, I'll, I'll challenge him. So he came out on the field, and it was a really rough pitch. It was sandy and all that. And he wasn't used to these heavy metal World War II boots that we were using at that time. So I'm standing in the goal, my knees are knocking and all that, but I'm trying to put up a front and all that because I have a little money on the line. <laughs> so he kicks the ball, the first one goes over the net, then he gets a bead on me, he kicks the second one, and it crumbs right past my hands, whips past the net, over the bar, hits, and behind me is this building. It's like a World War II prisoner of war barracks. And it's this heavy metal mesh, I mean thick, the kind of things that would hold back a truck smashes through the mesh, rips through the windows, breaks out all the frames, goes into the house, and I said, that could have been my face. I mean, that could have been my jaw, my chest, my arm. I said, from then on, I said, thank you very much. It's well, all yours. See you around. <laughs> see you around. My bed, huh? but he's kicking, good, happy uh, motoring. The people are going to be very surprised because you're going to see the film. He become a good player. A okay, series, well, a series, because it catch well. Why don't we look at him right now in some of the footage from Escape to Victory. That's the name of the film. Here we go. <laughs> There's Pele, obviously, but uh, there's the ball, and there you go. How do you think it looks like? Well, so I look kind of slow, don't I? That's <laughs> <laughs> super slow motion. This was done by a friend of ours, by the way. Our colleague Robert Rieger directed these sequences, didn't he? Robert Rieger did a brilliant job of covering uh, the balladic qualities of soccer, which people don't realize. That ball comes in at close to 100 miles an hour, and these players are running almost full tilt. So when you slow it down, you actually see the coordination and what is involved in really manipulating this ball downfield. It's, it's totally different from any other sport I've ever come across, and I have just a tremendous respect. And you don't really realize the genius of Pelé until you see it slowed down. You say, how can anyone have 800 muscles coordinated at the same time? It's incredible. I've boxed a little bit, and I've played a lot of football, but I've never quite come again, uh, upon a sport that is so, you might say, universally accepted and understanding and but dexterous i mean you need every possible you need intelligence you need speed you need endurance and you need guts and it's, it's I'm, i really have a lot of uh, respect for the game you can see that i'm a great sport here <laughs> there's pele doing the bicycle kick 
this is amazing. Now, it goes so quickly here, it seems like a microsecond, but when you see it slow down, what he does in the air is, is something that many gymnasts cannot do. He's the only man in the world that can do it, probably, and it's just, it was amazing to watch it, and I, I really consider myself privileged. It's no, really a genius really. of the sport, a genius of the sport. I think, okay. I think no, I, we walk together. I think the bicycle kick is really difficult to see. You see the whole championship. You see one goal sometime. Yeah, but, one bicycle, uh, kick, one yeah. bicycle yeah. kick and one goal. Like, I heard over 1,300 goals and only five of these bicycle kicks. So you can imagine yeah. how rare they are. They come like once a millennium. Gentlemen, I want to thank you both very much. Pele, Sylvester Stallone, good, to, good luck to you with Escape to Victory, which involves a soccer game between prisoners of war and their Nazi guards. Allegorical, you might say. We'll be back with highlights and other things.